This is Lance Gunkel, Managing Director at Severs & Stregge, and this is today's Finance Moment. Making investment decisions is difficult for one person, and it's made all the more difficult when another person is involved. It's quite common for partners or spouses to have differing views on risk. Each person enters the relationship with a different personal history with money and investments. One partner may be more comfortable being aggressive, while the other prefers to stay risk-averse. Periods of market turbulence can thrust these differences into overdrive. During significant market declines, such as the credit crisis of 2008, the risk-averse spouse may be upset with the risk-seeking spouse if their portfolio lost substantial amounts of value. The opposite may be true when a market rises, where the more aggressive spouse is disappointed in missing out on potential gains due to a portfolio less growth-oriented than they prefer. There's no easy solution when partners have different risk tolerances. It is important to work through, however, for the long-term success of both the investment portfolio and the marriage. The first step is open communication. Discuss how each partner felt during a period of substantial decline. This can open one another's eyes to the emotions felt during a period of market volatility. Next, consider how much risk you can afford to take. If you have sufficient resources to provide for a comfortable retirement, you may be able to take more risk. However, if finances are tight, it's not prudent to try hitting a home run in your investment portfolio. Only take as much risk as you can afford and that which allows you to sleep comfortably at night. One possible solution is to meet in the middle. Find a common point that allows you to take some risk, matching up with one spouse's desire for higher growth investments, while maintaining some lower-risk investments to satisfy the other spouse. Another possibility is to maintain a larger emergency cash reserve. We typically recommend a minimum of three to six months' worth of living expenses held in cash. Perhaps a reserve of one to two years of cash will keep the risk-averse spouse comfortable, knowing that when a downturn occurs, the cash is there to support living needs, giving the investment portfolio some time to recover. Visit Severson Stregge online at onlyworkforyou.com or call us at 515-225-6000.